excuse me. <clears throat> excuse me. Hello? Whoa. Okay. 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 Focus. Look at me, please. Please. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. Okay? Okay. Good. Thank you. Take a moment. Don't look over there. No, no, no. Look at me. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Do we need to start over? First of all, what's your name? Hi, nice to meet you. Now, I know that I am not the first doctor that you've seen. That's right. In fact, I know that I am doctor number seven. Mm hmm. Shh, whoa, whoa, calm down. Now, look at me. Hey, hey. Hang on. Focus on me for a minute, okay? Listen. This behavior is unacceptable. Now, you are welcome to leave at any time. You're an adult. You are your own person, and you have autonomy. And this behavior is unacceptable. No. No, I won't stand for it. No. Yes, you are welcome to leave and go to another doctor. And if you think the outcome will be different, that's up to you. But I have a suspicion that if the previous six were not up to your satisfaction, I doubt number eight will be any different than me. So, do you want to start over? Okay, good. I'm going to walk back out of the room, and I'm going to walk back in, and we're going to start over, okay? Sit down. Sit down. Good. All right? Thank you. I'm going to walk out of the room. I'm going to walk back into the room. And we're going to start this process over again with a clean slate. Okay? Okay. Good. We're going to get through this, all right? Good. Thank you. Okay. Let's try this again. Dr. Jeremiah, what's your name? Wonderful. Great to meet you. Focus on me, please. Good. Good. Okay. Much, much better. No, no, no. Stay focused on me. That's right. Yeah, yeah, good, okay. We're gonna do some examinations. We're going to give you a once over, kind of a light physical, uh, sometimes known as a 
cranial nerve exam, but uh, that's just a fancy word for a, a general checkup, okay? That's right. We'll take your blood pressure. We'll check your pulse. We'll check your ears, eyes, nose. That's right. That's right. But first, what brought you in today? Okay. Anxiety and, and stomach pain. Oh, okay. Stomach pain. All right. Okay. That was not... That was not on your chart. Any other specific pains? Headache. Ah, uh, okay, okay. With the stomach pain, is this, uh, is it constant? Is it only before or after eating? Uh, describe it to me. Stress-related, you think? Okay. Okay. Uh, would you describe it as a sharp pain? Is it a dull pain? Is it a throbbing pain? Is it an aching pain? Okay. Well, depending on... I'm going to check here in just a moment. And depend... I mean, it could be many things. It could be appendicitis. Okay? We're going to check. It could be a whole range of things. Um, and the reality is that stress can cause all kinds of body reactions. Yeah. Related to anxiety, absolutely. It's very common. It's very common. Much more common than you might think. Yep. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. I need you to sit still. Hang on, hang on. Hey. Okay, look at me. I need you to fo- I need- Hey. Hey, I need you to focus. Okay? That's the only way this works. I need you to trust me. Now, I can't guarantee that I can make everything better right now. Okay? I can't. But I do promise you, I will do everything in my power to be as honest and helpful as humanly possible. And if I think there is a better doctor who can help you more than I can, I will absolutely recommend you go and see them. You have my word. All right? You want to shake on it? All right. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Thank you. You have my word. Good. Okay. So, all right. The first thing that I am concerned with is, uh, it doesn't sound like it, but possible appendicitis. So, uh, I am going to be touching your abdomen later uh, and doing a few palpation checks and things like that. Um, first, though, we need to take some, some basic vitals, okay? Uh, you were a little combative with the nurse, and they were not able to uh, <laughs> run the, the basic... Uh, observations before I got here. I know. Yeah. 
Do you not like? No, you don't. You don't like people touching you. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, thank you very much for shaking my hand. Truly. I mean that. Okay. That's a big step. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Okay. Now I'm going to be right back. I need to grab a few things. Uh, <laughs> uh, I wasn't fully prepared for this scenario. So just one moment and I'll be right back. Okay? Thank you. One sec. I greatly appreciate it. Did you, uh, by chance, sneak a look at your chart while I was gone? Yeah. Ah, that's okay. I would have too. <laughs> See anything strange? No. No. Me either. Good. Yeah. Just that I was your seventh doctor. So, hopefully... Hey, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Come on. Look at me. Good. That's right. Thank you. No, you have beautiful eyes. I like looking at them. Yeah. Yeah. You have very soulful eyes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, shall we begin? Okay. Okay. So first things first, uh, let's take your temperature and we're going to do uh, check your blood pressure and your pulse rate, okay? All right. So start off with a nice, deep, relaxing breath. In for four, pause. Out for four, go. Very nice. One more. Still feeling a little antsy. Okay. Let's try something. Okay. <clears throat> All right, focus on me. <laughs> I know. I know. Focus on me. All right. Count down, count backwards, count down from 10 with me. Very simple. And do it, let's do it in a smooth, slow voice, okay? Nice and calm, gently. Go with me. Ten. Nine. Good, relax. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. simple thermometer under your tongue and hold it there for me, okay? Okay, let's make sure we're on. Okay, and go ahead and hold that under your tongue right there. Good, thank you very much. And hold out your uh, left arm, please. Thank you. Now you're going to feel 
feel some pressure on your arm, okay? Absolutely normal. Uh, you probably want that off your arm, don't you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let me check your pulse rate real quick. Uh, again, uh, hold out your uh, left arm for me momentarily. Thank you very much. And just breathe normal. Yeah. Okay. No. Your resting heart rate's a little high. You're currently at about 90 beats per minute. Um, but, uh, that would, uh, also make sense, uh, <laughs> with, with a, a heightened level of anxiety, yeah, okay, all right, good, yeah, okay, now I want to check out, uh, uh, your face, I want to check out your lymph nodes, uh, and I want to check out your abdomen and see if there's any specific, uh, pains or pressures, okay? Alright. Yeah, for this I am going to put on gloves. you to uh, just lift up the bottom of your shirt for me, okay? I just want to feel your abdomen. That's right. Okay. And any pain here? Okay. Any pain? Alright. How about here? Okay. And here? Good. Okay, here? Okay. Okay, you can go ahead and put your shirt down. Um, yeah, no, the, uh, I didn't, um, as, as I suspected, you didn't have any specific, uh, um, any specific pains where, uh, that would indicate uh, an inflamed appendix or appendicitis. So, that's good. That's good. That does lead me to believe that it is more uh, psychosomatic and or stress related. Yeah. Um, possibly an ulcer. Um, that's something we can look into. Um, well, no. Yeah. Well, it turns out uh, ulcers are not um, specifically stress related per se. Uh, stress can exacerbate an ulcer um, just because uh, stress lowers your immune system, okay? Stress is uh, it's a strain on your body, okay? When you're experiencing high levels of stress and anxiety, 
your body is in a fight or flight state and everything else is going by the wayside and therefore um, uh, the odds of things going wrong increase exponentially, right? Your immune system is suppressed and therefore you're more likely to get sick, you're more likely to feel uh, weak, uh, less motivated, all those things, yeah. Well, the cause of an ulcer is actually bacterial. That's right. Yeah, we treat ulcers these days with, uh, with antibiotics. Yeah, it's very effective. Yeah. Yeah, they used to think, well, I want to, I need to coat the stomach with, you know, like, milk or things like that. And uh, that may provide uh, some sort of temporary relief. Um, it doesn't actually uh, cure it. Yeah. Yeah. But luckily, it's actually pretty, uh, pretty simple to, uh, to cure an ulcer these days. But we'll, we'll look more into that. Yeah. We'll do some, we'll have to run some tests to see if, uh, to see if you have an ulcer. Okay. Do some x-rays and things like that. All right. Okay. Let's uh, do a quick vision check. Okay. All right. Um, so, well, here we go. Okay. Uh, focus on my finger. Good. Now focus on my nose. Good. Focus on my finger. And focus on my nose. Follow my finger. Okay, good. And follow my finger. Okay, good. All right. Uh, let me know when you can't see my fingers anymore. Okay. And let me know when you can't see my fingers anymore. Okay. Okay, that seems fine. Um, look straight at me, please. Yep. And just looks right at me, and you're gonna see a little flash, just a little whoop, right there. Yep. And one more time, please. And nope, good, just like that. Stay looking at me, thank you. And little flash, good. Stay looking at me, and right there. Okay, good. Now uh, look up for me, please. Thank you. Look up. And good. And okay. And look down, please. Okay. Okay. No, everything there looks fine. Everything there looks fine. Okay. And how long have you had these headaches? Okay. Mm -hmm. Any recent changes in uh, environment? Um, any breakups? Any changes in diet? Uh, change in job? Um, any anything out of the ordinary happen? Okay. Okay. check your ears just a moment so I'm gonna come around to the side um, look straight ahead you can look at that eye chart if you want or just uh, look at the wall but um, just uh, hold still for a moment please look fine. I have very healthy ears.
things pink, they should be pink, and white, they should be white. And no excessive waxy buildup or anything, no. Okay, so... What this is showing me, um, and work with me here, okay? It appears that your your main vitals are fine. Um, you're not experiencing any hypertension, also known as elevated blood pressure. Um, your heart rate was a little high, but uh, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary or that I would be uh, concerned about. I am worried about uh, the headaches and the stomach pains. Um, so I'm going to order some blood drawn, um, and you want me to do it? Okay. Okay. Normally I'd have a tech do that, but okay. Yeah, I can do that for you. Sure. Um, <sighs> we'll do a scan for any, uh, any, if you... Have you traveled anywhere recently, uh, especially any place, uh, any place tropical, um, any place, uh, any anything third world or you or second world where you may have eaten strange food, uh, any street food, any uh, uncooked raw vegetables? No, you have had veg, but from okay, not in a not in a foreign country. Okay. Um, well, we'll do a scan for uh, any uh, any parasites or things like that um, that could uh, possibly be be causing the, the the stomach, the gastrointestinal discomfort. But it really sounds to me um, to be stress related. Yeah, yeah. Um, so tell me. What is your, <laughs> on an average day, um, how much sleep do you get? Okay. Nope, nope, nope. You focus on me, please. That's right. Stay with me. Thank you. <laughs> I know. Old habits, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and, okay, so maybe seven hours. Okay. If you're lucky. I get that. Okay. Um, and what's the first thing you eat in the morning? Pop-Tarts. Okay. Got it. Uh, and a Diet Coke. Okay. Well, yeah, I'd rec... Well, we can... <laughs> we can, uh, we can... I'm sure it's not a surprise to you that I don't recommend that. Yeah. Now, whether or not you'll stop doing that, I have no control over, of course, but like every other doctor before me, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have that for breakfast. Well, it's a, it's a shock to you. It's, uh, all you're doing with that is you're spiking your blood sugar, um, with, uh, <laughs> sugar, carbs, um, and, uh, and, uh, the Diet Coke, which is, uh, acidic and artificial, artificial, uh, sweeteners, play strange tricks on your, uh, on your body and, and your, and, yeah, yeah, the artificial sweeteners are weird. I'd actually, in a, in, I would, I would recommend, um, small doses of real sugar rather than uh, large quantities of artificial sweeteners. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, the, uh, I know, the, uh, the science keeps changing on that. Well, it hasn't really changed much in the last, in the last 15 years, but uh, prior to that, especially back in the, like the, the 80s and the 90s, uh, let's just say the food pyramid was, um, more or less upside down. Yeah. Yeah. 
I know, big shock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so I definitely want to reduce uh, the amount of sugar and uh, processed carbohydrates we're having. You know, um, if you, look, I love bread as much as the next person, okay? And I love pasta too, I get it. I'm not, I'm not saying you should give up bread and pasta. Um, how do you feel about uh, sourdough? You don't mind it? Good, okay. Um, you know, instead of a Pop-Tart, okay, try a piece of sourdough toast with uh, real butter on it, all right? Um, if you can accompany that with um, some kind of a protein, eggs or eggs are great, yeah. Yeah, a couple eggs and, yeah, and a piece of sourdough toast with butter um, is exponentially better than a Pop-Tart and a Diet Coke. Yeah. No, have some coffee. Yeah, coffee is, coffee's fine. Definitely, well, the first thing I highly recommend when you wake up is just to drink uh, 12 to 16 ounces of water. First thing you have before anything else, before toast, before coffee, before eggs, before anything, have 12 to 16 ounces of water. Yep. Yeah, well, we lose a lot of water when we sleep. So when you wake up, you are, by nature, fundamentally dehydrated. Yeah. And after the Pop-Tart and soda, uh, what would you say you have next? Okay. Okay. How often do you have fast food? Okay. All right. Now, look, I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. Okay? What, what am I going to tell you? Shocker. More vegetables. Yeah, I know. Less processed carbohydrates. Ah, what? That's crazy. To, I know. That's right. But what I really want you to do is to... Um, Focus on some wellness activity. Yeah, it can be very simple. You know, can you can you do a five minute walk? Yeah, where you just you're with yourself, just just you, just a five minute walk, and uh, and listen to your body and think and just process things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Highly recommend right, uh, some meditation. Absolutely. Even one or two minutes. Yeah, but you can start with that. Work your way up to five. Work your way up to ten. Okay, but if you can start with even one minute of focus concentration. Yeah, that's going to be great. Okay, good. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. It was great meeting you, okay? Um, I'm gonna, we're, we need to go, we need to change rooms, okay? We are gonna take some blood, but we're gonna change rooms for that. So I'm gonna have you follow me here in just a minute. Uh, we're gonna go down to the lab area, all right? Okay, great. Um, but otherwise, any other questions for me? Okay, all right, well, it has truly been a pleasure meeting you. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to get through this together. Okay? Okay. Good. All right. Here we go.